I am back. Episode four now. Of Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, <clears throat> I'm telling you this for no other reason so that I can uh, say a bit of poor well me. <laughs> but it is quite a nuisance to actually get settled into position to actually record this. <laughs> Like, I got my ice pack on and all that, and my knees are perched up on a... I actually don't have a spare pillow, so I have to use my um, robe, my, my bathrobe. Thankfully, it's warming up, and I shouldn't need that for a while, so in case it does get a little wet, I can, uh, I can go ahead and deal with it. So, what we gotta do... Uh, we're not gonna need that book yet, are we? We might need it. We might. We might. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and grab it and we'll try for it. Because I think... I think... The V-Jolt formula will be um, in that room. I think. Uh, I will also grab the control room key. And I need to bring some health, as always. Uh, I must have used my first aid spray because I don't see any. So I'll bring some mixed herbs. We are kind of getting a little low on health, aren't we? Uh, oh, <laughs> I almost forgot the empty bottle. I told you that might be a problem. Uh, a couple of green herbs. Yeah, we are getting a little bit low. We need to be careful with that. Okay, let's carry on. I do believe we will be using that red book after all. Because I think the room that we need to get into... Though, what concerns me is, do I need to get a key to get into it? Or do I need another key to get into it? Because if so, then we have to go to the control room first. In which case, I may want to put the book back. But we'll see. We gotta try and dodge the bees, the nasty, horrible bees. Uh huh. Zero, zero, three. Okay. Alright, in that case, we actually do have to go to the control room first, which means, of course, that. Um, I don't know what all we're going to need to pick up in there. Might be quite a few items. So I think... Because I don't think there's a whole lot of zombies in that area, right? Uh, do, 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 do. And the enemies we are going to be contending with... Um, <clears throat> if we... <laughs> it really doesn't matter whether we have a gun or not, honestly. So I might drop these items for now and take my Beretta and possibly I'm just going to grab a clip to refill it but I don't want to put the other items back if I don't necessarily have to okay hang on a second Okay, I think it's just windy outside. Okay. Hang on a second, I gotta check on that. I gotta see what that was. Okay, sorry about that. I heard something and had to go check it out. And of course, that's a big pain in the ass to do that, but I don't think it was anything major <sighs> let's go ahead and take care of this control room nonsense I'm gonna keep the book with me but I do need a couple of items or excuse me I need a couple of uh, inventory slots open I do have a health okay good 
but I'm going to need those other items pretty soon, so I'm hoping that once I get through this, I can use them on my way back to the save area. <clears throat> so we're not going in there, we go on down here. Alright. Oh, they pushed it all back. God damn it. Game. Why are the wardrobes mysteriously popping back into place? Because you can't push it all the way back, right? Will you descend the ladder? Well, I could get the Jill. Jill. Aha, there's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes, I will. So I said earlier in the last episode that typically when you finish the guardhouse, you are roughly halfway through the game. I, I think I might have misspoke there. I think it's, <clears throat> it's really more when you get back into the mansion and you're about halfway through that section. I would say that really that's more like the midpoint. Not that it matters, but you know. Oh, right. No, I can't do it that way. I effed up. One second. You actually gotta do it like this. So Jill's gotta go around this way. You gotta push this box out past the edge of the wall. Like that, but not all the way to the other side. That's good. But before we move it again, we gotta push this other box. Actually, this box. Oh, 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 don't wanna push that one. We wanna push this one. Push the box. Push it, push it, push it. Into the water it goes. We will do the same thing for this box. And what we're doing is creating a bridge because Jill couldn't just swim across. Because video games. Just like in Grand Theft Auto, if you fall into the water, you're instantly dead. Alright. Push this box. Of course, I don't think that's true of Grand Theft Auto anymore. I think that actually changed with... Uh, San Andreas, right? I think San Andreas was the first game where you could actually swim. And we push in, we push in. While Jill's pushing this box, I'm going to take a swig of my Tecate. <sighs> Although, um, <clears throat> Tecate has been my usual source of memory of late when we talk about the uh, virus that everybody's freaking out over. And they call it the coronavirus and everybody makes the Mexican beer joke so I have always referred to it as the Tecate virus. Oh we got some green herbs. Let's uh, grab them up on the way back but first things first we got to get through this door and I believe we got to make an immediate left turn and we got to move as fast fast as we can. I believe we're going the right way. I hope so. Oh god. I don't think we're going the right way. Oh shit. Oh fuck. That didn't take long. Damn. Oh run Jill run. Oh god. Oh fuck. Get in there. Get in there. That's fine. Get rid of it. Get in there, Jill. Oh. Now. Oh. That was her old pal, Neptune. 
But as you can see, he's quite a bit less deadly in the original game. Uh, of course, I did take a hit there. But um, if they do get a hold of you, <laughs> they're a motherfucker. But uh, why would I want to do that? From the room next door. Kidook. I think that unlocked it. I don't think there's anything else in this room we need. Let's check here. Nothing special. Let's go back out. Now, the sharks can still hurt you. But we shan't bother with them any further. So I told you we needed this some item space. We got a dormitory key. That is the key to the door where we use the red book, which is why I'm glad I kept it. And we got some clips. Good thing that won't take up any further inventory. Good. 63 bullets. Cool. We are all wet and useless. It's like an ammo stash, but <laughs> they are all wet and useless. Except, aside from those two clips, which presumably were sitting above the water level. <clears throat> As to why exactly they would have sharks in here, <laughs> only the Umbrella Corporation knows for sure. Now, that's the door I came in from, right? Now, I don't really want to get... No, that's the door I came in. Now, yeah, they. It seems. I think in general, the sharks are always going to end up in that spot. They can still hurt you, mind you, if you get too close to them. But we really don't need to get too close to them. Now, this room. I don't think there's anything in here of interest right now. But see that giant root. That is where we're going to use the V-Jolt. But I don't think there's anything else of interest in here right now. So we're going to head out. But this whole section is way harder in the remake. <clears throat> Since I don't really want to deal with those sharks flopping about and potentially hurting me, I'm going to go the other way. God damn it. I guess it didn't make a difference. Just hug the wall, Jim. Okay. I could shoot them, but I'm not going to waste the bullets. It would be the humane thing to do, but eh, maybe on the way back. We take these orbs. Two greens. Haven't seen any reds in a while. When we get back to the mansion, we could take a detour and head out into that dog corridor. It was the last armor key door that we opened. We could get some herbs in that vet. Sorry. Had to make sure my audio is recording. I've had it stop on me uh, unexpectedly before, so I always got to check and make sure it's still recording. Now we can finally get into the other area, although I might. Mm. I'm going to need the inventory space, so I'm going to go back to the save area and drop um, <clears throat> those herbs, and I might even drop that clip, because I really, and the gun as a matter of fact, because when I do this V-Jolt puzzle, I really am going to need, um, well, I'll keep the gun with me. Just in case there's a zombie in there. But, um... I need all of the inventory space that I can possibly save. Uh -huh. 
Now then, let's drop the green herbs. I guess I can combine some of these. But I'm really hoping for some more reds. So, keep everything else. I still need that empty bottle. I really shouldn't have taken it before I was ready for it, but I just didn't know any better. Well, I did know any better, but I just didn't think. Just didn't think, okay? You ever not thunk? Happened to me. <clears throat> well, we've been doing a whole lot of walking around back and forth. Now then. What we do now, we make a boat, close this door, which is the only door we need this dormitory key for, so we discard it. How exactly Jill knows to get rid of the keys, I have no idea. Doesn't really matter. Huh, see now this. That's the bookcase. <coughs> ah, sorry, I sneezed. <clears throat> A row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Yes. The Vigil Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of plant. UMB number 16. I think it's the same as in the remake. We have named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. I still have a project in the works that's going to be called V-Jolt, by the way. But I'm going to read through the rest of this and take a drink of Tecate. That is, so our goal is to get to number 16. So we know that <clears throat> 2 is red, NB003 is purple. Interesting. MP003 is purple. <laughs> Stimulating smell. Okay. That's basically the recipe. Now a book is missing. So let's put one in there. It opened up a secret area. And we are not going through there right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a trap. That's a tarp. I've fallen for it before. Because now that it's given you the formula for V-Jolt, it's like, ooh, secret door. What's in there? Yeah. Plant 42 is in there. Come on. Oh, oh I wasted a bullet. But this time, look, a bathroom was actually useful. <laughs> um, on an episode of my old podcast, Podcast Ammonium, uh, that I did with the Burrow years ago. For those of you who don't remember Burrow, he is one of my old buddies that uh, I uh, did that podcast with, as well as um, my Let's Play, a few Let's Plays on this channel, older ones. From back in 2015 as well as a whole bunch of other projects from way way back anyway um we were talking about resident evil and i made the the joke or actually the point about how there's only one bathroom in the entire mansion in resident evil and um he brought up that um he's like yeah there's only one bathroom in the mansion proper but there are bathrooms in the guardhouse and i said yeah there's one in the guardhouse and he said well there's one per dormitory and i um attempted to i'm gonna need that inventory slot aren't i 
I attempted to uh, say, oh no, I think there's only one. I think that maybe they added them in the director's cut, um, but there's only one in the original game, and he couldn't disprove it. So he's like, God damn it! But I actually think he was right. I think that the bathrooms in the dormitory. Thing is, I just I haven't played enough of the original original Resident Evil. Like I've always played the director's cut. <clears throat> So he might well be right, but it's just one of those things that always comes to my mind. So we've got two empty bottles. Um, let's see. There's UMB number four. Will you put UMB in the empty bottle? Sure. UMB number four. So at this point, I think I'm just trying to... Got another empty bottle. And what else do I have? I don't think you need too many different bottles. I know you need a few. I think you need four of them total. Uh, there's a UMB number two in the empty bottle. Yeah. And UMB number two. So I got two number twos now. There's UMB number two. You need a container to obtain it. Is there another empty bottle somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. It's on that little desk. Okay. Thing is, I've gotten a bunch of these number twos. Okay. Hope I haven't already gone wrong here. Let's take a look. On the wall. One plus two equals three. Three plus four equals seven. Two plus four equals six. 6 plus 7 equals 13, 3 plus 13 equals 16. So that's essentially what we're trying to do to get to uh, V-Jolt. Okay, um, now what was the ones that I have? I have I have a number 4 and I have three number 3s. Now, how in the fuck... Water red, two purple, three green, four. So water is... Ah, oh, I didn't put any water. Okay, so I got three... Right. Hmm. Shoot. <laughs> I forgot that water equals one. Damn. Because I think I might have already gone wrong. Can I put Well hang the hell on. Hang on. I got I got my dear. Come on. Audio. There we go. I got my dear. Because we're going to need to do... We're going to need to make a six, right? Wasn't there a six in the uh, the breakdown? Let's see. Uh, we... Yeah, sort of. But we kind of needed to... Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to need to make a six anyway. Because that's the only way I can free up a... Thing. So we're going to combine that and make yellow six. We're going to need water to make purple. <coughs> Will you put water in the empty bottle? Yes. Got the water. So now we got to make purple. We have MP003. That's the purple one, right? Yeah, okay. So we have yellow six and PO three. 
number two, we got to get to 16. So, do and do and do and do. Do and do and do. Aha, I see it. Okay. Because we got seven. We got yellow six. We're trying to get to ten, right? So we combine. Do and do, do and do. Three, two, two, two. Aha, I think I see what I gotta do here. Two, three, two, do. We, aha, yes, I see what I gotta do. I gotta get a four. So we need a number four. You put it in the empty bottle, yes. So I got number four, good. Now, we must combine number three with number four, which gives us number seven. Now we need more water. To make more number four or number three rather. Yeah, it's got the water. We combine that with the number two. We combine the three with seven. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I still got my number six. So we got to get to 13, right? No, wait a minute. What do I got to do? So we got our six. We need our uh, three and four. So we got our seven. We gotta do a, we gotta combine the six and the seven, okay. And then we gotta make another three. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. So we can only combine, so we need to do um, water. Yes. We need to do a number three. So we gotta get some number two. So we're gonna make our number three, the purple. Now we gotta get a number four. And the empty bottle, yes. Now we combine those two. That gives us number seven. Uh, six and seven can be combined, right? That's number 13. So now we just need to make another set of number three. All right. Got the water. Thank you kindly. Let's go get some more number two. This is so such exciting gameplay. You guys are probably just like totally enjoying the shit out of this. Now, of course, we do a bit more combining water. Combine with number two. Gives me NP003, which we combine with number 13. And we have Vigilt. Hello, baby. Now. <clears throat> now what we got to do, we're down in here. We gotta get back down to the control room area where we saw that giant root. 
and we're gonna apply the V jolt directly to that root. I don't think there's anything else we necessarily need. I know in the other, in the remake, I think you need that sprayer. You have to get that sprayer that you have to get from the beehive. Or maybe not, but it's something to that effect. I'm just adjusting my ice pack. Don't mind me. So, let's put these bottles away. We won't need them anymore. And the grenades. These are the flame rounds, by the way. So we actually are doing pretty good on grenades. I'm put the V-Jolt away. Uh, let's grab a clip. And let's grab some health. Of course, I don't think I have any mixed herbs left, do I? I just got bunches upon bunches of green herbs. Well, let's just grab one of those. Better than nothing. I really should be trying to stockpile my health as best I can at this point, but... Um, haven't been doing such a great job with that. <clears throat> okay, now we're all back down to the control room. So the guardhouse is definitely taking quite a bit longer than I thought to get through. But we will finish it by the end of this episode, guaranteed. Back down the ladder. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes. <sighs> Tecate. <clears throat> Good old cerveza. Yeah, I'm really more of a draft beer kind of guy. I'm not a huge fan of the imports and domestics, um, you know, that you'd find at any liquor store, but you can't go wrong with some Tecate. Ooh, dear lordy. Those guys can still get you, mind you. You kind of have to stand there and let them get you, but they can get you. Okay. Chill. Use the V-Jolt. It shrivels and it dies. Now, we have severely wounded Plant 42. I don't think there was any... No, there never was any items in here, was there? Yep. But we have defeated a feared enemy. I've never seen the point, honestly, in trying to fight Plant 42 if you don't have to. I think in Chris's scenario, depending on which or how you're doing it, you may you may actually have to fight Plant 42. It's not a terribly hard boss fight. I mean. Um, actually, in the playthrough that I did recently, that was going to be the uh, next Let's Play before I had to abandon it, I, um, I did beat Plant 42 fairly easy. I was surprised at it, actually. But uh, I did defeat it in a straight-up fight, so it's not like I've never fought Plant 42. I've just never seen the point in doing it if you don't have to. It's so much easier just to do Vigil. But I kind of, I see the point of it. It's like, well, um, to that extent, it's like, okay, yeah, uh, you don't necessarily have to do it, but it's, it's your preference if you want to do a puzzle or a boss fight. I always kind of prefer to do the puzzle. All right, so. We may have some business to attend to. It won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side.
That's right. We can only get to it from this door. The teaser door. Go. They can still hurt me, mind you. Oh, shit. Okay. Still actually is going to take some work to defeat Plant 42, apparently. <clears throat> I thought usually a few gunshots would kill it. It's severely weakened, but uh, it ain't it ain't whipped yet, so fuck that shit. I'll just get my grenade rounds. So, yeah, you don't really have to fight it so much because it's it's really weak but you do still have to kill it typically plant 42 would grab you and throw you around but uh, this one it can't quite do that but it could still smack you a little bit and it took my bullets with ease so let's go get some Let's go get some grenades on the bazooka. Actually, this might be a good way to use up some of those acid rounds. Come on, baby. Let's kill us a plant 42 so we can get our ass back to the mash hall. Because I would say, once you get back to the mansion and you're dealing with hunters, you are effectively about halfway through the game. Conversely, though, I think if you elect... What the shit? Oh, what did the, do the, the, the fucking wardrobe slide back over the door again? I guess it did. I guess I have to go this way. Are you serious? Holy shit, I wouldn't have thought it took that much. Damn it. Are you telling me I have to go back again? <sighs> That's annoying. I don't remember Plant 42 after doing the V-Jolt taking that much damage. Well, we used all the rest of my acid rounds, so I'll grab my uh, explosive rounds and this shouldn't take too much more. Ugh. <sighs> Just imagine how much it would have taken if I'd fought it straight on. So this t episode is going to be titled Too Much Backtracking. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Explosive rounds. Got 12 of them babies. Kind of hoping to hold on to as many of them as I could for Mr. Tyrant. We haven't met him yet, and we won't for quite some time, but I always try to save as much of my heavy artillery for him as I can. Speaking of heavy artillery, when we get back to the mansion, we're going to be picking up one of my favorite guns in the game. A gun that you get much earlier in the remake. But uh, this version, and the original, the OG, it's going to be coming up here in a short short. Before I even go in there, I should probably reload. 
All right, Plan 42, you've taken too much of my time. It is time to put your ass to bed. fireplace we have found the final key the helmet key let's check it out so I guess this version of the game doesn't actually have a sword key because I don't think we ever picked it up is there no odd items in here I guess not. So goodbye to Plant 42. That could have been a hell of a nasty, a lot nastier fight if we had not done the V-Jolt, so. Good for us for doing the V-Jolt. Um, although, still took a bit more ammo than I would have preferred. Ah. Somebody's firing bullets. Wesker! Wesker. Jill. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared <laughs> from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Is it just me or does Wesker sound like he's like oh he was shooting at the bees okay so that's why we don't really need to mess with him <laughs> does Wesker sound like he's like badly trying to flirt with Jill Jill so you're safe <laughs> or does he just talk like that I think he just talks like that okay now we are coming up on roughly around 50 minutes here into this episode so I think we got ourselves a reasonable goal to end off on, and that would be, of course, oops, I don't want to do that. That would be, of course, to uh, get back into the mansion. I want to put the bazooka back, because I shan't need it for a little bit. I will take the shotgun in its place, and some shells. And I think what I'll go ahead and do even though I try not to do this, I know it's bad practice, but um, I'm going to take a couple more green herbs and combine them, because I think I've got plenty. Because I've got a few green herbs, and I think we will get a few more once we get back uh, into the mansion, and I just like the idea of having a full heal handy. <clears throat> because you can combine three green herbs. Yes. And that will effectively make a um, full heal. I think I talked about that earlier, too. So, I also, even though I haven't really come across too many uh, ink ribbons, uh, disturbingly few, actually. Oh! Didn't want that. I want ink aroma. Oh, shit. That's my last save. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. I expected to find some more ink ribbons. Uh, doot and do. I don't want to die. <laughs> I do not want to die, but um, we really just need to get back into the mansion. <sighs> but we have hunters. 
All right, I gotta get to the in. I gotta get to that uh, main storeroom, and that's where we're gonna call it for this episode. So, are we ready for this run? Because if I die, I have to undo. I have to redo everything I did in this episode. So we cannot. Oops, didn't want to do that. Get out of there. I just wanted to do equip my shotgun, and I gotta pee really bad. So I'm really hoping that we do this right. God, I hope there aren't any dogs. Oh, we got a lot of hunters, don't we? There's like a bunch. Before we get back there, we gotta face like a bunch of damn hunters. And I never killed the dogs out here, did I? Run for it. Just bloody run for it. I didn't pick these up. Good. I gotta pee really bad. Just run for the hills as Iron Maiden, as the Iron Maiden song goes. We didn't kill a couple of these doggies. Oh shit. We don't want to go that way. All right. Man, there's going to be like a shitload of hunters. Or at least a few. <laughs> I don't think there's a shitload. I think there's just a few. Oh, God. I got to pee really bad, guys. I got to pee really bad. got to pee really bad. And there's snakes falling in my hair. Snakes are falling on my head. <clears throat> if we can just get back into the marshal. I don't think any dogs respond. Ooh. Oh, no. Those are the blue herbs. We don't want those. They look like reds, though, don't they? At least on my television it does. Yeah, these are blues. We don't want this. No. I don't think I actually ever had to use any blue herbs. Oh, God. Here we go. We are about to encounter... For the first time, one of the most infamous enemies in all of Resident Evil. My god, what is that? They can open the door. Oh god, what is it? Shoot! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no! Oh. oh, my God! Oh, holy shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I knew I should have taken that save. Oh fuck. Well, that was a hunter, folks. And that's why they're deadly. As you just saw, they can one hit kill, and I took way oh. Well, I basically have to redo everything I just did in this episode. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I fucking hate it. Oh my god. I have to replay that entire goddamn episode. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I guess in episode 5, we will uh, get caught up to that hunter fight. And, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you then, because I gotta go pee, and then I have to replay everything I just did. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next episode. Good grief.